My name is Mike and I've been mining cryptocurrency for over seven years now. And in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to start earning Bitcoin with your PC. The platform we're going to use is called Nice Hash. To follow along with the rest of this video, go ahead and click the link in the video description and the pinned comment. Once you're on the Nice Hash website, you're going to click join us. And here you're going to create an account. That also is gonna include KYC, which is know your customer. Once you finish that, go ahead and come back to the video and we'll keep going. Once you're logged in, you'll be greeted with your dashboard, but there's nothing happening here just yet. What you're gonna do is click on mining in the menu bar of the Nice Hash website. And here you're gonna click on the download miner or add ASIC button. And you're gonna be greeted with a few options. And the one we're gonna use in this video because it's easy and fast to set up and optimal for beginners is the nice hash quick miner for both AMD and Nvidia. Go ahead and click that and then we're going to download quick miner and save it to your downloads folder. Now, what will probably happen from here is either your browser of choice or Windows is going to block or alert you of this download saying it's potentially dangerous. It is not. It is safe. So do whatever you need to do to make sure that you get this downloaded to your downloads folder. Head to your downloads folder and double click on the nice hash quick miner install hit yes to allow windows to install it and we're greeted with a couple options here on its main install window you can change your installation folder i recommend you just leave it the default your language and the version type we're going to do is stable and then we're going to create a shortcut on the desktop so it's easy to open we're going to run the quick miner right after the install completes and then i definitely suggest you leave optimize light for all devices checked more on overclocks and stuff in a little bit and then just check that you're 18 years or older so that you can download and install it. Nice hash quick miner has been successfully installed. Thanks for the support. Let's go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions. And here we go. Dear nice hash user, you're about to start using nice hash services. You will share computing power of your device. And for that, you will be paid accordingly in cryptocurrency Bitcoin. This may result in battery life shortage of your device and increase electricity consumption. Okay, from here, what you need to do is go back to your browser and copy the address that was provided to set up the quick miner. Go ahead and paste that in and we're gonna hit okay. Now we got excavator, which is this executable window that has started here. And we got a couple options that we can set now in NiceHash. Number one is the worker name. So that is the name of this PC that you would like to show up in the monitoring on NiceHash's website. I'm just gonna call this main PC and we're gonna go to next. And now it's gonna ask if we want Nice hash to automatically start with Windows, which I recommend you auto start with Windows and that you start mining automatically when Quick Miner starts. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. Now, if the video cards crash, which can happen for overclocks, especially during uh, some of its initial phases here, what do you want it to do? Do you want it to just restart the mining software, which is Excavator here? I recommend that. You could also have it do nothing, which means it would stop mining. You can have it reboot your PC uh, or you can have it restart the NVIDIA driver. I recommend that you leave it restart excavator, which is the default. Some tips and tricks for you to click on and explore on your own time. And we're going to get to the rig manager in just a little bit. And we're also going to get to OC tune in just a little bit. But let's hit OK. Now on the main page of the nice hash quick miner, we're going to go hit start mining. Now, this is a pretty big deal. You just started mining cryptocurrency and Bitcoin likely for the first time. So welcome to the club. Very glad to have you. Let's get back into what happens next. Head back to the nice hash website on your dashboard. What you're going to see now after a few moments is that you have one active rig. I want you to click on go to rig manager, which is going to show you some more information. First, what you're going to look at after it settles out for a little bit is your current actual profitability every 24 hours. You're going to see this reflected in Bitcoin and US dollar equivalents. You're also going to have your unpaid mining balance, whatever is owed to you from the nice hash platform when that next payout will be. And then ultimately that all is going to join your BTC wallet balance to, so you can see how much cumulatively you have on the nice hash website. Below that, you're going to see your rigs. In this case, we just have one and we've titled it main PC. I'm going to click the down arrow here so we can see that exact setup that I have right now making this video. I've chosen to not mine with my 3900X, but if you have a great processor in your PC, you can make some extra income there. But what you do see is the 4070 Ti Super that is currently within this PC. 
Now, if you've just started, you may see a couple different statuses. One might be mining and the other might be benchmarking because the NiceHash platform will test your GPU on a lot of different cryptocurrencies and ultimately so it can find the most profitable one for you to mine on to convert into Bitcoin. It'll have the temperature of this card, which is currently 68 degrees Celsius. It'll use a sensor within the GPU to tell me the hotspot temperature, which is 88 degrees Celsius. The amount of load on the card, which is expected to be a lot because we are taxing the GPU in order to create cryptocurrency. The memory controller load, which depending on what algorithm your GPU is mining could be different, but it's totally normal to be anywhere from 100 to as little as maybe 0 to 20%. Your fan speed, which is keeping your GPU cool, and the amount of power that your graphics card is currently taking, and your efficiency ultimately is the amount of performance your card is getting for the amount of power that it is utilizing. I'm gonna show you some advanced features you can explore to monitor your rig just a little bit more in detail. So we're gonna head down to Windows Taskbar, click on the arrow here to show hidden icons. You can see the quick miner represented here. I'm gonna right click that, and what I want to do is go over to OC Tune. When I open that, it's going to open a local web page within my network that's going to show me some information about the rig I currently have mining. And what you're looking at is it's currently bringing in a lot of info from the speed of the GPU, the power, the efficiency, the temperature, hotspot temperature, and the highest VRAM temperature. So even more information than you're getting on NiceHash's website. There's excavator status reflected right there. Again, that is the mining software that is being used and running in the command line on your computer, which has, again, a lot of that same information, but you even get the RPMs of the fan reflected there. And in this case, you can actually see the voltages that your core and your memory are running at within the GPU itself. Additionally, you can hit the settings icon here and get further options for how fast this website updates for you, any profiles that you want to create manually to load onto your graphics card. You can do manual overclocking here. You can set different fan speeds to keep your graphics card cool. And then you can also use an auto-tune feature, which right now, because we clicked the box in that initial setup of NiceHash, is set to efficiency which is ultimately what I recommend unless you maybe have free power. Efficiency means that your graphics card will be giving the most amount of hash rate that it can for the least amount of power, thus giving you more revenue, more profit versus actual money spent in electricity. Checking in one last time with the nice hash mining dashboard, you can see I've settled out where this graphics card is gonna be making 0 0.000576 Bitcoin per day, which is equal to 57 cents in USD. Now you might be going, Mike, that's not a lot, but I want you to consider this. When NiceHash came out 10 years ago, Bitcoin was worth about $300, meaning it's up 330% in those 10 years. If that same thing follows suit over the next 10 years, that 57 cents will be worth almost $190, meaning that your PC at home running this application could be making $190 per day. So what happens next? Well, your PC is set to earn Bitcoin every single day, and you can let that accumulate and hold on to it in the hopes that the price of Bitcoin continues to appreciate, and go up dramatically in the future. Additionally, there's ways to take your Bitcoin and convert it into cash. Exchanges in the US like Coinbase allow you to do just that and send it right to your bank account. Link will be down in the video description. As you get more involved in the crypto space, there's also ways to take Bitcoin and convert it into other cryptocurrencies. And if you made it this far in the video, congratulations for being involved in crypto. There's advanced features in NiceHash and other ways to get into mining, and I'll have a playlist linked here to get you started. Thanks for checking out the video. Peace.